It's untypical, I suppose, of what one might expect a primary school to be. Personally, the thing that really stood out for me was the light of the building. As I walked around the building, the light that comes into the classrooms. The people who used the Priory School came together as a community to develop an absolute treasure for their children and the community. Professionals help them create a building that is invisibly inclusive. It's fantastic that no one is segregated by tiny things that most people won't notice. For example, the accessible toilets are right there in between the standard toilets. Everyone can come in and go out of the building the same way and navigate it quickly. The power of daylight without glare from two walls in every classroom is immense. It has an incredible effect on behaviour, mood, health and happiness. Personally, the thing that really stood out for me was the light of the building. As I walked around the building, the light that comes into the classrooms through the, the doors that can open out onto the learning area, the high windows in the ceiling, um, just makes for such a light and bright learning environment. And, you know, there's, there's lots of different schools of thought out there, but, you know, one of the ones they, they all suggest you should have is that light, bright atmosphere uh, in a classroom. And so for me, little things like that, um, and that the children feel safe and happy here, it means they come to school in a positive mind, um, they're ready to learn. The opportunity to have some dangerous play outside has been proven to have an enormous impact on our brain development and neurodiversity. The wide corridor seems extravagant to some, but it's used as a safe area, an extra classroom, and even for piano lessons without disturbing any classes. The environment gives everyone an equal chance here. All these details are not expensive to introduce when you create a new building. They just need someone who knows that we work, play and learn best as a group, whoever makes up that group. An access consultant tracks the way our collective lives are changing and draws everyone back into the fold with tiny details most people won't notice. We have a very uh, able access group within this locality, it's the Brecknock Access Group, and we involve them in all projects, commercial projects within the locality. Uh, we involve them from the, um, in the initial meeting um, in the office, and we actually invite them to come on the scheme at the end to see if they're happy, because what we feel is if, if they, they can see that we've done our job properly, we have then a building that's fully part M compliant. It started when the architects uh, submitted the plans to the uh, national parks uh, and then we were involved with the local building control to make sure that the design of the building was uh, covering all aspects of disabilities. Because I was Dean of the, uh, the Cathedral I was automatically a governor of the school and so with the other governors I tried to support the head in developing the vision for replacing that building that had passed its sell-by date with something much better and what we've got now is infinitely better than we'd uh, even hoped for I think. To me it means everybody should have the same opportunity, the same access to buildings, education and whatever. Everybody should have the same and this little school here is going a long way to achieving exactly what we would like to think is the ultimate. And this is it then, this is the really special one, this is the Selwyn Goldsmith Award she's got to go up on the wall. It's a bit heavy, so I'm going to ask Mrs Bayless if maybe she could hold this one as well. A bit, bit of juggling, Mrs Bayless. And what we'll do, as Becky hands this one over, I think we'll give everyone a really big clap. So. We create an atmosphere where people don't feel inferior because they're slightly different. They know that place values every talent and forges a path to help them develop. The people who need those tiny touches are here participating like everyone else. So I'm delighted to celebrate this well-earned award and hope that others will be inspired by inclusive design that's invisible, consistent and flexible. <laughs>